This is WBTV News on your side. WBTV News starts right now with breaking news. We're following several breaking news situations right now. Two of them you are seeing here. Sky 3 is live over a massive fire at a salvage yard in East Spencer. And then also a crash involving a camper has shut down I-77 southbound over Lake Norman. Major backups in that area right now. Good afternoon. I'm Christine Spiro. Thanks so much for watching today. We first want to get to this fire in East Spencer. This is on North Long Street right now. Sky 3 continuing to bring us live pictures of this breaking news scene. Smoke can be seen from miles away. WBTV's David Wisnett was the first on the scene to get details on what's happening there. He is on the ground as crews are battling these flames. David, do officials know yet how this massive fire started? No, they don't, and frankly, they have been a little busy to talk to us so far. Maybe just a, a few things they've been able to tell me. This fire that you see behind me that appears to just be out of control is at Holmes Iron and Metal. It is a salvage yard in East Spencer. I'm going to get out of the way of the camera. I want to zoom in a little bit and kind of show you what these firefighters are dealing with. You can see that there is a lot of ele electrical power that is very close by, and so they're having to be so careful in what they do. Duke Energy has uh, several people out here, several crew members out here who are working to cut the power. So this is really quite a scene. I want to show you some live pictures now from Sky 3. Sky 3 looking down from above, and you can just see how massive this is. Uh, I heard the first alarms, and when I came out of my office in downtown Salisbury, which is about three or four miles, you could see the smoke just boiling in the air, and it has been doing that now for about 45, maybe 50 minutes. Uh, there are fire crews here from all over the county, uh, probably some from neighboring counties. I have no idea how many firefighters are here on scene, but this is uh, really quite a scene. And again, just to recap, this is on North Long Street. It is in East Spencer, the town of East Spencer in Rowan County. Uh, lots of firefighters, lots of emergency workers are on the scene. I did ask uh, any injuries and was told that so far they're not aware of anybody being hurt, no one from the salvage yard, no one uh, from the emergency responders or the firefighters. We keep hearing these very loud pops, and that is because what's burning back there is a huge pile of junk cars. That's what is on fire. So tires are blowing out. You may have just heard that one. Uh, engine blocks, things like that are literally popping. It's very loud, and it's made people a, a little afraid, basically, because they see that and they hear these very loud pops that are going on. Uh, but we will stay with this and bring you the latest a little bit later on WBTV News. Uh, again, for now, East Spencer, huge fire, no injuries. Reporting live in East Spencer, David Wisnett, WBTV, on your side. All right, David, thank you for that live report. Let us know if uh, any breaking developments. Also breaking this afternoon, parts of I-77 are shut down due to this RV crashing and overturning. This is affecting the southbound lanes of I-77 near Griffith Street. That's at exit 11. All lanes are closed southbound due to the crash. So far, we know at least one person is suffering from minor injuries. No word on what caused the crash right now. And if we take our DOT camera in that same area, it appears at this hour they are diverting some of that southbound traffic through the middle construction lane to relieve some of the backup in the area that really stretches for miles. We will stay on top of the story, bringing you the latest updates as we get them. Breaking news out of Austin, Texas now as we wait for the decision on whether the 2020 Republican National Convention will come to the Queen City. Right now, the RNC Site Selection Committee is meeting. The final decision is between the Queen City or Las Vegas. If committee members do give the green light to the Queen City, we expect to see a formal full vote from the entire Republican National Committee when it meets this Friday morning. A big argument for bringing the RNC to Charlotte is the economic impact, but it's not just Charlotte that could benefit. The Cabarrus County economic impact from the Democratic National Convention in 2012 was around $6 million. There's Charlotte Motor Speedway that sees a lot of business. Hotels and restaurants around the county fill up. That overflow then spills into Rowan County, where hotels also start booking up. But back here in Charlotte, not everyone is convinced the convention will pay off for local businesses. And while many are looking forward to the increase of revenue that could come with the RNC, others are worried they'll actually take a cut in revenue and lose business. During the Democratic National Convention six years ago, roads were some to some to some local restaurants wanted to stay away from the crowds hurting business. 
One owner spoke at Charlotte City Council about his reservations, while plenty of others are staying optimistic about the good it could do for them. It was riches for the suburbs and the Airbnbs, but it closed me down for a week in my small business. It'd be interesting to see now that there's so many more people living uptown in the apartments that are that have been built. Um, you know what that'll really look like um, as far as you know people leaving town or people that stay kind of on foot. The DNC has a total economic impact of $164 million, but some city council members like Braxton Winston say they want to see research on the impact to individual business in uptown. The city submitted the RNC bid back in April, but just in the last couple of weeks, we started hearing and seeing more pushback from people in the community and the Charlotte City Council. That led to a special meeting this week where more than 130 residents spoke. The council ultimately voted to support bringing the RNC to Charlotte. It was close, a six to five vote. Charlotte Mayor Vi Lyle sat down with WBTV anchor Jamie Bowl yesterday. She believes some council members just didn't understand where they stood in the process. And she doesn't have any bad feelings to those who voted, no. New councils, a, a lot of new people on the council. Sometimes I believe that I say we're going to do this step and they may not have understood what was really required. So I'm going to say that we're going to work harder on explaining things in more detail because governance isn't necessarily automatic and we're going to have to work on making sure that we're understood. This is a story WBTV has been following since the very beginning for you. As we await this final decision, be sure to download a WBTV News app so we can alert you as soon as a vote is in. We will have live coverage from Austin, Texas, where that vote is taking place starting on WBTV News first at four. New at noon, a person is dead after being hit by a car. It happened on South Carolina Interstate 55 near Kingsbury Road last night around 10. Troopers say the person was crossing the street when they were hit by a 2015 Chrysler. The person was pronounced dead on scene. Their identity has not been released. A woman is in the hospital after being trapped under a forklift. It happened at the Pactiv Corporation on Meacham Farm Road in Huntersville. That woman was flown to the hospital. Officers say there will be no criminal investigation, but OSHA will be investigating the accident. Taking a live look from our HD Tower Cam, lots of sunshine to start this afternoon off. Great shot here of Uptown Charlotte uh, of the beautiful blue skies and uh, a little bit of clouds hanging around in the sky as well. Meteorologist Chris Larson is standing by with a look at your first alert weather. It got pretty humid yesterday. I don't know how things are shaping up this afternoon. It did. It's going to be hot again this afternoon, Christine, with temperatures in the upper 80s and low 90s. But the difference you will feel will be in the relative humidities. Dew points right now. Yesterday we were 74 for the dew point at the lunch hour right now 64 so that gives you a relative humidity of 46 percent feels a little more comfortable out there 84 in hickory 89 gastonia 85 albemarle 85 right now in monroe power doppler is quiet and the reason that we're feeling better today is that front is now down to our south out to the east off the carolina coastline and that's providing a north easterly flow or a northerly flow here for today. So a northerly flow keeps us on the dry side as we head into the afternoon. Showers and thunderstorms south of Columbia and over towards Wilmington, but highs will still be seasonably warm in the upper 80s and low 90s. We're forecasting about 92 degrees as we head late into the afternoon. How about the weekend ahead? We've got rain in the forecast. We'll talk about that coming up in a few minutes, Christy. All right, Chris, thank you. We are continuing to follow breaking news on several stories we're covering that's breaking right now. Two of them here on your screen. You're looking at Sky 3 video from earlier today on the left. That massive uh, junkyard fire in East Spencer in Rowan County. Those flames continue to blur, uh, burn. A lot of black smoke in the sky in that area. And then on the right, I-77 southbound closed due to uh, a crash here. A lot of debris in the road as a result of this. Southbound traffic has uh, been diverted to that middle lane, that middle construction lane to help relieve some of the backup. We'll continue to watch both of these situations and be back in just one minute.